Welcome! This tutorial shows how to use the norm.dist and the norm.inv functions in Excel to calculate normal probabilities. These Excel functions are more accurate and much quicker than using a z-table. The normal distribution function in Excel has the following format. We start every formula with an equal sign, so we have equal norm.dist and then in parentheses x comma the mean comma the standard deviation comma and whether it is cumulative or not. Let's see what this looks like in Excel. In Excel choose any empty cell and type in equal norm dot dist and then open parentheses and as soon as you type in the open parentheses you can see it shows you x mean standard deviation and whether it is cumulative or not. If cumulative is true then norm.dist will calculate the cumulative distribution function. That is the probability that x will be at or below that value. That would look like this. Here you can see the normal distribution curve shaded in green below the number 85. If we use x as 85, then the Excel function will give us the probability that x is 85 or below. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose we have a class exam where the average grade was 80, so mu is 80. Now suppose the class standard deviation is 3 points. What is the probability that a student got an 83 or below? Graphically, it would look like this. We would like to find the green cumulative shaded area at or below 83. To have Excel do these calculations, we would fill in x as 83, and then the mean is 80, a standard deviation of 3, and the word true for cumulative because it is the cumulative area at or below 83. So let's see how this would be done in Excel. Okay, here we have Excel, so we would type in equal to norm.dist, open parentheses, and then the x value that we're looking at is 83 because we want to calculate the area to the left of 83, 83 comma. The mean for this distribution is 80, mu is 80. Sigma, the standard deviation, is 3. And we do want it to be cumulative, so we type in true. Close parentheses. Hit return. And we get 0.841345. 0.8413. So we get using Excel 0.8413 and so the area under the curve cumulative below or at 83 is 84.13 percent or 0.8413. If we type in false for cumulative instead of true then Excel will calculate the probability mass function for a specific x value rather than the cumulative distribution function. So for this example, if we want to know the probability that a student will get exactly 83 or the probability that x is equal to 83, not less than or equal to, but equal to only, then we would type in false. Let's see how this is done in Excel. Let's go back to Excel and instead of typing in true, let's change true to false. and we have 0 0.080657. So the probability that x is equal to exactly 83 is 0 0.080657. So the probability that a student will get exactly 83 is 0 0.080657. So in a nutshell, the function norm.dist gives us the normal distribution for a given mu mean and a given sigma, standard deviation, for a population. It functions very much like a z-table. Now what if we wanted the inverse of that, or what I like to call a backward problem? Suppose we have the probability already, and we want to calculate the x value from that. The function in Excel to do that looks like this. We have equal norm inv like INV for inverse, then we put in the probability, the mean, and the standard deviation. For example, let's say we want to know the grade a student got such that only 10% got higher. Here you can see what this would look like. We want to know the value of x, the grade, such that 10% scored higher. So if we have 10% or 0.10 above x, then 1 minus 10% 
or 90% would be the area below x. So to use Excel, we would put in the probability value of 0.90, and that is the area at or below the x value we're looking for. Okay, let's see how this is done in Excel. We would type in equal to norm inv, open parentheses, and then you can see there it says probability, comma, mean, comma, standard deviation. So for probability, we type in 0.9, that's the area at or below the x value, comma, the mean is 80, standard deviation is 3, close parentheses, hit return, and we get 84.84465. Let's round that to 83.84. So the answer is x is equal to 83.84. So if a student scored an 83.84, only 10% of the class got higher than that grade, and of course that means that 90% of the class, 1 minus 10%, got that grade or lower. And that's it. Now you know how to use norm.dist and norm.inv functions in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you learned something.